Good morning, and welcome to Wednesday's Word. I have a quiz for you this morning. I'm going to take you to Needy Tarts Bay to a picture I took just on Saturday. Look at this picture. Can you make out what's in it? We're out on the water in a boat, but along the shoreline are birds, different kinds of birds. Can you tell which they are? Now I've got the guy who took us and hosted us that day, my boys and I, and he's talking about sea perch and they're young. Then he's going to talk about the bird I want to tell you about today. So listen. Oh, if you will, uh, of, the, of the fish. And, uh, and then they, when they're real little, they kind of come back to the mother sometimes to, to hide or to kind of go in and out. So that's what these... That's why the, the pelicans are here, is because there's small fish out there. They, can, they don't eat great big fish. If you listen closely, you'll know we were talking about the brown pelican. I've never been all that familiar with pelicans, and I've never seen any kind of pelicans like I saw that day. I'm going to tie it in in a minute, but this is what he said. If you remember, he said, you know, pelicans don't eat big fish. They eat the little fish, these baby fish. And out of my book, I had Stephanie take a picture of the of a brown pelican, and this is what it said. And birds of the north of North America, the brown pelican, it's on both coasts. Immature is, um, is uniformly dull brown above, lighter below. An excellent flyer with a powerful stroking flight alternating with short glides, which often carry the bird only inches above the water. It flies with its head drawn back to the shoulders, rarely soars, Small flocks fly in long lines, dives into the water from heights of 30 feet for small fish. It's a semi-tame bird, often begging for food on fishing piers. While we were out there, we saw these pelicans in action, and they almost looked like World War II uh, fighter planes as they came down and they soared just above the water and they came close they came very close to our boat and and our guide told us he said that's super unusual maybe they think we're going to feed them maybe they think we're going to throw out some bait but it's like they were friendly they were close they were majestic in fact it's interesting in this book it says that they are 41 inches long that's more than a yard they are 90 inches in wingspan that's over seven feet they're magnificent birds and they're also one of the birds mentioned in the bible listen closely in psalm 102 it says a prayer of the afflicted when he is overwhelmed and pours out his complaint before the lord verse one hear my prayer o lord and let my cry come to you do not hide your face from me in the day of trouble Incline your ear to me in the day that I call, answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned like a hearth. My heart is stricken and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. He loses his appetite. He doesn't even think about food. Continuing on. Because of the sound of my groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I lie awake and I am like a sparrow alone on the housetop. My enemies reproach me all day long and those who deride me swear an oath against me for I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping because of my indignation and your wrath for you have lifted me up and cast me away. My days are like a shadow that lengthens and I wither away like grass. Now listen, but you, O Lord, shall endure forever and the remembrance of your name to all generations. I love this passage. 
And notice it says, I am like a pelican in the wilderness. If you remember what it said about pelicans, pelicans tend to flock. They fly in patterns. They hunt together. They're not in the wilderness. They're not alone. They're not isolated. But this man says, I'm like a pelican that is out of my element. I, I'm away from my food. I'm away from my community. I'm away and I feel forgotten and I'm isolated and I'm weak. And if you think about these pelicans, if they were in the wilderness, they wouldn't be getting the small fish that they need. In the book, it says they rarely are near fresh water. They need the salt water. They need marine life. So my question for you today, I have a couple of them. When do you feel overwhelmed? When do you feel isolated? Alone? If you've never felt that way, I think you are more rare than the most endangered species because we can all feel that way, even in a crowd, even in a family. We can feel lonely and forgotten as though we're like a sparrow by itself on a rooftop. For me, it's times when the task is great and my strength seems small. When time is short and challenges seem endless. When tasks take wisdom in areas that I have no experience, no training, no education. Where there's a lot at stake. And one mistake. Seems like it could end it all. And so I want you to think about those times. Because I think that's what the psalmist felt. So what do we do when those times come? Listen to verse 1 and 2. This is what the psalmist did. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me in the day that I call, answer me speedily. When he feels overwhelmed, he goes to the rock that is higher than he is. He goes to the God who knows, who listens, who has all strength, all wisdom, who well supplies the God of mercy and grace, who looks upon the afflicted and, and not one thing that you face or I face misses his attention because he is a God of mercy and he loves you with an everlasting love. And he listens, he hears, he responds, not always on our timeline, but he will. He will because think of what Jesus went through for you. No one was ever more isolated than Jesus on the cross bearing the weight of our sins. He was rejected so that we can be eternally accepted, part of God's forever family, knowing that we are forgiven and restored and loved from here to eternity and back again. So friends in Christ, think about the Psalm. Think about these pelicans. They were having a heyday out on the bay. They didn't have the concerns of isolation. God well provided, and he has for you in Jesus, our Savior. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you that you have loved us. They've given us reminders like the pelicans out in the bay who stick together, who raise those wings and fly strong and, and enjoy the, the delicacies you have made. And Lord, when we struggle and when we falter and when we feel all alone, meet us there and draw us in and remind us of your love and your grace and your presence in our lives and bring us again into community where the fellowship of your people will help us encourage, be encouraged and to encourage one another. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful week.